They said we could bring our children. Seven-year-old kids are like, yo, three-man, how's up top looking? He's like, it's good, Timmy. There's a packer, though. One second. He's down. We're going to move. And then the front guy's like, good job, Sarah. Press. Parents and teachers are like, <laughs> No one can say for sure whether there will be a shooting war. Many no one could have guessed. I am slowly preparing food for my family. Oh. Stocking up on water if the water is turned off. Stocking up on water. Okay. How would you guys prepare if you thought a country was going to invade the United we States? A stove just in case the gas was turned off so that the children could cook something for themselves. So some people are just stocking up, preserving their gas, stocking up on food, stocking up on water. She has bought a rifle. Oh, well, I don't remember her name, but we're going to call her Lisa. Lisa, bitch. Look at this. There's no way this is hers. She got a suppressor. She got bipods. She got, I think there's a fork. It's a little blurry. She has a fucking magnified optic. Oh, no, Lisa. Bitch, what are you doing? Guys, she got key mod. I don't know if you guys know what that is. This shit right here, that's key mod. We don't do that shit. M lock. Keep it simple, people. <laughs> no, dog ass. Lisa, a bad bitch. Lisa trying to go in, trying to defend her her country, her people. They, they really tried to like briefly like sweep it under the fucking table. They're like, oh, this is Lisa. She, you know, is storing up on her water and everything. She's making sure her kids are fine. She got this a rifle, and then you know, people in Ukraine are like, no, what the hell? Go back. Ordinary citizens gather near the Lisova Ordinary metro citizen, bro. Oh, there's Lisa. Their numbers have grown since more than 100,000 is... Russian soldiers have mobilized on wow. the country's borders. Like the fact that people are actually leaving their families and like all this shit to like go and sign up in front of these like makeshift recruiting stations in front of like grocery stores and shit. That's so badass. The golden rule taught here is how not to die in the first minutes of battle. Yo, that is fucking set. The first things taught here is how not to die in battle. I wish we could like teach people in the streets just like how to defend like i tell everybody i'll, I'll tell all y'all don't you don't have to be rude you don't have to be mean but always be prepared to be fucking violent i wish we could do that to everybody teach everybody how to use a weapon system because remember a weapon system is just a tool it's like a knife it's like anything it's like a screwdriver it's a fucking tool it does nothing without a human being behind it it can be dangerous if you want it to be dangerous or you can use a, a rifle as a fucking hammer who knows i don't know you tell me but dude nowadays if we went out we're like we're gonna teach you guys how to defend yourself they're like oh why do you want to teach us how to do bad things we're like you want to live or what god damn and then they're like fuck military fuck the police fuck everybody y'all ain't shit then all of a sudden someone want to come around the corner and grab their purse and be like and then they're like oh my god get the police you guys don't do your job please come save me and it's like what do you want make up your mind they've been organizing weekend military training for civilians for Weekends? several so it's years it's like a militia now. and everyday clothes and wooden guns <laughs> like the fact that they're citizens they know their country's on the brink of war and the fact that they're choosing to do something they're choosing to learn and have the capability to defend themselves and or fight. I think that is so amazing. This is actually very motivating for me. Oh, look at him. Oh, oh, we're going to call him Todd. Look at Todd. He's a real warfighter, baby. Todd, you better open up both your eyes, bitch. We shoot with both our eyes open, okay? Todd is about to go in. He said, can't. Oh, they're pink, pink, pink. My plan is to defend and uh, they know what to do. He's like my family, no. I'm out here. Anybody who come over here to my country, I'm gonna kill them. My family know this. I'm gonna kill everybody. Okay? Hard skin core. I wanna know how old this dude is. This dude's already seen we shit. Right every week, we are much better ready for possible invasion of. Hey, couldn't have said it better, bro. The Russians did not want this fucking smoke. The thing is, you know, so many people would probably shit on these people seeing them out in the streets, but it's like, how crazy is it to think that you laughed at these people, you thought they were stupid, you thought they was dumb for what they're doing, you thought it was the, the, the need to know how to use a weapon system was inconvenient, and then now half of these people have left their homes, they're scared, and then there's these people who are out there fighting and protecting you. They really took the time out of their day to defend where they're from. The instructors are mostly veterans from the ongoing war in eastern Ukraine. At least, hey, yo, Lisa, kid it up. Let's see what she got. Yo, Lisa, kid it out. Hey! She got a doo doo plate carrier, but it's fine. Doo doo battle belt is fine. This AK been alive for 700 years, though. We live every day expecting to be attacked. I want to be this guy for five seconds. That's why we get people used to the idea that we'll all have to leave Oh, wow, this we will. You're coming to my country, I f***ing kill you. 
That's why we train. We prepare. Oh, Christ. Don't wear these in war. The sniper gods on the Russia side are going to be like, what is that? Is that the shiny? I'm going to shoot it. It just so happens that shiny is on your face. So your head gone. You know what I'm saying? Mariana Zaglo says her name oh, Mariano Mario Kart same shit Nah, we're gonna stick with Lisa so that my children can live in a Ukraine without the problems that exist now and with a free free independent prosperous country yo they're patriotic as f I'm not even gonna lie to you guys in a former school building in southeast Ukraine oh in a school building they got the achy wakey wakey dakey dude bro wait till they got these little seven-year-old kids they're like Clear. Yo, three man, how's up top looking? He's like, it's good, Timmy. There's a backer though. One second. <laughs> He's down. We're gonna move. And then the front guy's like, good job, Sarah. Press. The, all the parents and teachers are like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> At least all the American parents, you know, are training local residents in urban. Warfare. Oh, we got another Lisa. Oh, where's your wooden rifle at? The fuck is this dude's name? Hmm. This is more like a Gary, honestly. Yeah, look at his shoes. That's a Gary. We don't really like him, but Gary's trying. Let's try it again. Lisa's like, <laughs> this new Lisa's like, this is kind of fun. I want to shoot it. If you guys heard that a country was coming to invade the United States, and just like Ukraine, like the buildup was actually very, 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 very serious. Let's say the buildup was super serious. Would you guys go to weekend events like this to learn how to use a weapon system? Or would you guys just be like, eh? The military got it. Recruit around 130,000 civilians to bolster its defense if war with Russia breaks out. Pink, pink. Okay, we want a pink, pink. Pew, pew is fun, but a silent pink, pink. Ooh, I used this to do that with the saw. Guys, let me do down below in the comments if you've ever done this with the saw. If you've ever like had a gunner get set up on the saw when you're training, no ammunition in it. And what I would do is I would get in front of my my saw gunner, my two four nine gunner, and I would legit sit on my ass, take my foot, and I'd be like, if he can take the the recoil from my foot, he can take the recoil from the saw. So for any of you new little team leaders out there that haven't, you know, been in the shit yet and you want to test your, your, your gunner's positioning, go ahead and do that. I legit kick the fucking barrel with my foot. So like, but like, I would take my foot, right? I'd sit right in front of the barrel. Like I said, everything's been cleared, but we're working on like my team's positioning and like all this other shit. And legit, I'd sit right in front of them. I'd be like, you think you have a good position on that, the, that 249? They're like, Roger, Sergeant. And I'm like, okay, sit right in front of them, kick it hard, the barrel hard, just... They should be lined up straight and they should be able to like receive that recoil and it's no problem. Cause that, that weapon system pushes, it's a belt fed weapon system. I, I'm not gonna lie. It is sad that civilians have to do this shit. And this is why I think myself and a lot of other people choose to fight is like, I, I, refu I would refuse to see other people doing shit like this. I would rather do it. You have to feel it in your hands. If you don't have your hands on the weapon system, you're wrong. If you truly never do it, you'll never really know. That's what people are like, oh, like I've learned online. Blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. You don't know unless you physically do it. They said we could bring our children. Think of my son. He's doing military skills. How many of you would bring your kids if you had to do this shit? Volunteers also learn how to apply first aid and to identify explosives. This is where I kind of start to like drift away from civilians knowing certain things. I'm trying to be fair here, right? Weapon systems, those, like I said, those are tools. Those can literally not do anything by themselves. It has to be charged. The trigger has to be pulled, okay? There has to be a round in the chamber. Like all these things have to happen. There has to be a action for the weapon system to have a reaction. Now, when it comes to ordnance and explosives like this, I would just, you know, I teach them how to identify these things, but not how to like use them or like disarm them because that is a full on war fighting function that takes expertise, a lot of training and time and effort and civilians, you know, they're gonna try to be the war fighter, right? They're already gonna be out there shooting in the streets and doing stuff. And I'm just like, the last thing you need because they're not working in a military element, right? We, we, we have the element of surprise and like all these other things. We don't need them out there trying to disarm bombs and stuff because honestly it could do far more harm than good especially if they're trying to disarm something or they like carry it and think it's disarmed bring it into like a base they're like oh look i disarmed all these poof, and then it, like takes out everybody right but i don't know what they're let's see was that bouncing buddy or some shit? 30 meter radius oh we got another lisa oh man no I, I can't we can't name her lisa hold on hold on i'm gonna find her a different name right now that's not she's not old old names She's not old. Abigail. She Abigail, bro. She ain't no this shit. Abigail. Abigail out there fighting for her country. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for finding the time. 
We didn't have any injuries, which is not a small thing. No, it's a big deal. To not be injured is great, especially during training exercises. Damn! A lot of people of my uh, age uh, are concerned about future. About I need a name. Let's go with Alice. 23 year old medical student. 23 year old medical student. Will come in handy, but she's here to learn how to handle a weapon should Russia invade. Ooh. I hope that everything will be okay. I hope that everything will be okay. If not, I will kill everybody with my new skills that I learned today on my AK-74. Using gorillas is another deterrence factor. <gasps> They're using real gorillas! Y'all heard it first, baby! Holy shit! Could you actually imagine if you were out there fighting in the war, and then you're like looking through, through the woods, and all of a sudden you see is like... And it's a fucking big-ass silverback gorilla, it's like... Ah, ah. I'd be like... Oh, Dude, gorillas freak me out, dude. They're big as shit. They they bite and everything, bro. And they're like, eat, they'll eat. Gorillas will eat you alive. I'm pretty sure gorillas will eat you alive. Don't fact check me, please. Yeah, that's Planet of the Ape shit. What the hell? But yeah, gorilla warfare, guys. But I would be a, a Russian truck driver in a convoy um, moving into Ukraine as these guys become more and more efficient. <laughs> this is your life as a truck driver. Oh, this invasion has gone super great. That's your life as a truck driver in Gorilla War. Without exception, say that they hope to never put their skills to use. Hopefully you never do have to put your skills to use, but guess what? The time ever does come, you got them. All right, that's it, team. If you guys like this type of content, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys don't like, go ahead and dislike the video, but let me know down below in the comments how I can fix and improve for your guys' entertainment. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, go ahead and let me know down below in the comments. And if you want to stick around, we post two, three times a week, so go ahead and hit that subscribe and notification bell. But uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Deuces!